Samuel Sreli Matavesi. I'm a hooker for the Cornish Pirates and Fiji, and I'm an able rate in the Royal Navy. I'm very much Cornish as well as Fijian. I was quite lucky that some of the hookers who have been in Fiji for about 12 years have retired. So we're off to work on Friday morning. It's Cold Rose, it's an air station, and it's called HMS Seahawk. To be fair, I'm, I'm very lucky because people in work, work at, at Cold Rose, they support me in, in, in where I work. Overall, I'm, I'm in the Navy first, and my, you know, my second job is rugby. Um, I probably work once or twice a week, and the rest of the days I'm, I'm at the Pirates in training. As I'm not working full time in the Navy at this minute and I'm, I'm playing more rugby, the overall plan is, is, is trying to get in a team for the World Cup. T today, I'm, I'm literally like, I'm, I'm, like I'm not a handyman, but I'll, I'll go in and, you know, whichever department in work needs needs the most help, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll muck in and help out. And, you know, that can range from, you know, being out in the van, um, to taking parts of the air, to the certain squadrons on the air station, or I, I could be behind a desk on, you know, on the computer doing other bits. So my wife uh, fell pregnant, and I, ne I needed, you know, I needed a career. I needed a job to, to support the family. And even though rugby, it was, it was good, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't going to, you know, help me pay the bills. You know, this is the hub of, of the base, and it holds all, all the spares for the different aircrafts we know we, ha we have on base. <laughs> Are you doing right? Power supply. Power supply. Two. two. Eight, what's, what's the what's the number? Two five one four. Yeah. Joined the Navy, and to be fair, I haven't looked back. You know, it's, I think it's something that I wish I did sooner, but you know, I'm, I'm in the Navy now. I've been in just under three years, and you know, ho hopefully, I can see out at the time. Got signed, permanent class. Thank you very much. Without this place, you, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have the aircraft fly. Um, you know, I think that's why we're here. You know, we're an air station in, in Cornwall, and if it wasn't for all these bits and all the people in here, it, it wouldn't function. Me and Sam are, um, we're both Camborne boys, so I kind of knew him and his family. His dad was a bit of a legend who played for Camborne. He joined my squadron support team, and on joining, he then had the Pirates interest come in. And we, as a department, we give him the opportunity to um, go and see what he could do at the Cornish Pirates. And since then, he's gone from strength to strength, back to representing Fiji. You can hear him before you see him, so I know a few people like that, but Sam's there. Uh, yeah, he's very vocal, but um, you, you need that in the Navy. You need that to be vocal, to be to be confident, and uh, he, he, uh, he's got that in heaps and bounds, really. The Navy do support the people who, who excel in sports. It's well known for it. Obviously, we have the Army Navy at Twickenham, so to get someone of Sam's calibre, it, it's, it's great for the Navy, it's great for the department, and it's great for the air station. Everyone knows with the Army that they're, they're a very good team. As a group, you know, we didn't want to take a backward step. You know, we want to, you know, to, to play quite, quite a hard game. And I got in a, a scuffle with an army player, and I've, I've proceeded to. It looks like that I've, I've thrown my head to, towards his body, which, in slow motion, didn't look great. And I got a red card on 17 minutes at Twickenham. I actually um, printed a load of red cards for all the people here. So, as I said before, he is very vocal, and uh, if he comes in with um, being a bit loud, just, just, just show him the red card. <laughs> We're at. Camel RFC in Cornwall. Um, this is a club that I was I was born into, and I'm, I've been involved in it since I was like four, I think. So yeah, it's got great significance in the Matavesi family. My dad came on tour with the Fijian Barbarians in the late 80s. I think they toured the world, but I think the last stop was Cornwall. Pretty sure they played Panzance and Newland back then on on a Saturday, but they played Campbell in midweek, or as, as far as I remember. And the story goes, uh, he, he played, I think they won at the time, the Fijian Barbarians, with a few guests. So he then got back to Fiji, and Camborn said to him, you know, do you fancy it uh, coming over? And I think maybe, maybe a month later, he, he was on the plane over and back in Cornwall, working in the tin mines and playing rugby. Sam has um, been a young lad that I coached from the age six, six or seven, and he was a good friend of my son's. We've gone through a few, um, Photographs and different things home that I've dug out of some of your first games. This one is actually your first ever game you played in a Camborne shirt. I think you were about six or seven year old there, and that's at Newquay. I wear black yeah. boots back then. Must be the thing. We used to leave them in the change room most weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Turn up on the training night. I haven't got any boots. No, you left them in the change room. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe when I turned up and they had those airs. So obviously, out at your school. Yeah, I, I actually I, came along I, to I see it. I don't think they were too impressed either, to be fair. No. <laughs> Just a little live wire. He was, he was, uh, he had this massive smile, 
And just when Sam walked in, you were, you know, you see this great smile of him, and uh, uh, but he was a little pocket dynamite. And uh, yeah, we had, we've had some we've had some talent times training, and uh, we've had some really good times. And he, he, you know, you could tell the ability of them as young children. You know, they were going to be good rugby players. Looking back now, you know, I, I, it was a, it was a very Cornish upbringing and a bit less of Fijian, especially as, as I'm you know, playing with Fiji now and, and around the team and things, you know, I, I sort of wish that I had more of a Fijian upbringing in terms of the language and you know, things like that, but you know, I'm, I'm very happy with the, yeah, with the childhood and how it went. When you grow up, you, know, you, you, you want to play rugby and you know, be, be the people you see on TV, but when it actually gets closer, it, it could be a possibility. It's an incredible thing from when I started playing with with, with Campbell until until now, yeah, it's, it's a dream and it, it, it still is. You know, if you look at the France game and what happened, you know, how we beat France in France, it's, 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 you know, it's only looking forward. I think it's the best squad Fiji that I've had in a long time in terms of depth and the quality of people. So, you know, hopefully, come this World Cup, you know, we, we can make a statement and and yeah, not cause an upset, but get get to the quarterfinals. You know, all, all things going well in the World Cup, you know, who knows what's on the corner. I'm happy at the Pirates, so I, I, I'm enjoying it. But then there you know, comes a time where I'm going to have to stop rugby and stop working full time. I'm, I'm very excited, you know, to get on ships, you know, to go to these countries and actually do my job at sea and, you know, represent the Navy.